What is up, YouTube? It is I, Clutch Morals, and I'm back, and we are home from the Wicked Team Show, and uh, we picked up some stuff while we were there. You know how shiny these things are? Shout out, Peg Key Headers. Uh, they hooked me up. Now, those aren't necessarily going to go on the minivan, with just the minivan being pre-ran. Uh, it wouldn't be worth it to throw those on there right now but the next uh build i do with the 3100 3400 it's getting headers we're gonna get some header protectors because uh y'all remember what happened last time so went to the wicked team show this weekend it wasn't bad it was some great action and uh you know they're sandbagging of course like most derbies and you know, they go out there to the sandbaggers and they paint hearts on their cars. And I'm like, you know what? If you just went out there and just pulled a spark plug wire, you don't want to hit, we're going to take a spark plug wire. Maybe maybe just turn their, their idle up on their carburetor. I mentioned this on Facebook. One guy said there's a promoter. He goes out there and takes one lug nut off. Every time he's got to stop it to tell you to hit, he's taking one lug nut until your tire falls off. That's that's kind of smart. So, not a lot of work uh, going on today on the Corvette. Uh, I talked to the guy this weekend that is buying the back section. I was like, you got to come pull it off because I don't have the attention span to do that. So, he's coming this week or this weekend. This weekend at the uh, team show we tested out these GoPro mounts and I'm about to upload the footage GoPro mounts held up so guess whose website is about to have GoPro mounts we're gonna be selling some GoPros here in a couple weeks brand new uh, everything you know I got tired of you guys asking me like who builds your gopro mounts and i was like fuck you guys want gopro mounts let's go i'll get you hooked up so yeah uh i'm gonna be posting the some of the highlights from the weekend on tiktok i'll do them here on the youtube shorts but you know it's a beautiful uh it was a beautiful weekend kind of chilly and we got the sun out shining now so I'm going to finish unpacking the truck from the weekend. Uh, we just hit 4,000 uh, followers last week. I think we're at like 4,020 now. I appreciate you guys. You know, my kids said they will not be proud of me uh, doing my YouTube channel until I get one of them stupid plaques, which you don't get the plaque until 100,000 followers. So we are at 4%. Uh, which, you know, it sounds like a lot, but is it, you know, we're 4%. That's a lot more than, uh, some people. So we're going to keep, keep on keeping on. We're, uh, going to keep building this Corvette. Next thing we're doing, taking the intake off. Going to look at, uh, getting a new intake, carburetting it. Uh, talk to my buddy, Kevin Wallace. You guys remember him? He uh, he raced the Danger Ranger 500 with uh, Cletus McFarlane last year. He builds race cars. He used to race, uh, does occasionally in his spare time. He hit me up, said, hey, dude, I got a tubing bender. And I'm like, for race cars? He's like, yeah. I was like, once I get this thing going, I was like, I will load it up, bring it over, and, you know, we'll spend a weekend welding the... Uh, the cage in this so we're going to team up that'll be on both of our channels so you know we got the cage figured out now we got the seats figured out we just got to order going to carburetor this it's coming right along got a guy wanting to buy the tires there are 15 inch corvette rims and uh i think i'm getting 17 inch rims 16s or 17s are the new ones that i'm the new used ones I'm getting. So a lot's coming up. A lot is coming up uh, this summer, spring. I'm looking forward to all of it. 
We're building fucking derby cars. We're building vans. I'm about to cut up the Blizzard Bash car. You know. But we're going to build some mini cars. We're going to build some mini vans. After watching some of these bone stock full-size heats this weekend, I kind of got the urge to build a bone stock car. You know, I got the setup. Uh, it sucks building these hard cars. And, you know, for Blizzard Bash, you can only run it at Blizzard Bash. So let's build some bone stock shit. Uh, go across the country. Do some most wanted cars and uh, have some fun so here's some videos hit like hit subscribe tell your friends y'all have a great fucking week i'll see you next time And, you know, I'm chugging along at this uh, Corvette. Uh, that was that was there when I got it. You know, watch the previous video. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe I was just trying to figure out how tough the fiberglass is on these. Considering this whole car is fiberglass. Floorboards, fiberglass. Doghouse, fiberglass. All that fiberglass. Did I say floorboards? Floorboards. Uh, I've been doing a little research while I'm at work during the day, and it seems like this is like a subframe in the front, subframe in the back, and in between it's just like fiberglass molded to that. So that explains why when everybody hacks the body off these, they put the exoskeleton on because without it, like this thing's gonna. It's, it's gonna flex it's gonna bend while you're driving uh, so yeah just got the passenger seat out and you know this is gonna be a slow build we're gonna take our time we're gonna do it right you know I've been looking at some the new seats which we are a long way from seats you know we got to finish getting this gutted we got to get it running the seats you know we're looking at black and lime green racing seats we're gonna swap that intake out. I think we're gonna do a black intake. We're gonna do a black MSD distributor. I think we're gonna do a lime green air filter. Like everything on this, I think we're gonna do black and lime green. If, if they can make me some black tires with a lime green uh, white wall, you know, like a lime green wall, like that fucking looks sick. Uh, Fuck, let's do some lime green underglow, you know, when we're done. Note to self, when this is built, we're going to do some lime green party lights. Look at this. Look at this. I start making a video, and oh boy, he's like, Dad, we ain't played ball yet. So, yeah, I just wanted to hop on here, show you guys a little update for the day. Started working on this seat. We got that door off last night. Going to start on that door today that seat get this center all the carpet out and then we're gonna start messing around with the ignition see if we can't get this thing to start my excuse right now like there's all this shit in the way it's gonna be way easier to work on that ignition when i when i pull everything out and i can sit on the passenger side driver's side it doesn't matter just sitting there figure it out so what do you guys think of uh the build so far you know i know it's been done roadkill's done it cletus mcfarland's done it 
hell, there's like fucking a guy in Minnesota or Michigan on my Facebook. He said he's built two of them. It doesn't matter. You know, Crown Vicks, everybody builds them for derby cars. They still fucking look cool. You still want to drive one. So, you know, I'm looking at building this and Karina and I have talked about when it's done, taking it cross country. So that's, that's, what is it? That's my long-term goals, you know? Short-term, strip this, get it running. Long-term, cross country. So we need like Clutch Marls Motorsports across there. So yeah, we, uh, I'm looking for another minivan. That one's fixable, totally fixable. Don't, don't worry. Uh, looking at a show that's, you know, fresh cars only. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go pull this shit out and I'll, I'll get back on here. Give you guys another update. All right. So we got the inside gutted. I went ahead and took the hood off because I actually found a guy who said everything I was stripping out, he would uh, buy from me because he is restoring one. It probably would have made more sense for us just to swap. But whatever. So we've got we got the interior stripped except for the dash. Uh, went ahead and took the hood off so he can come get everything. Eventually, we're going to take this bumper cover and all that off. You know, we'll be able to eliminate the AC condenser. Not, no, AC compressor. Uh, bunch of shit up in here. Figure out what all this is. Air filter, maybe? What do you guys think? Big ass air filter? You know, all the ones of these I've seen where they kept it fuel injected, they had a big coned air filter there. You know, like I said, we're talking about carburetting it. So, we'll get to remove all this shit. Come up with a better overflow. Because that's not, that's not going to be there anymore. Look how wide these tires are. So, I think next step, we start figuring out why it won't start. Uh, change the ignition out. Uh, like all these wires right here went to rolling down the windows. Uh, I think there's a plug right there. So, we can unplug all that. Throw it away because we will no longer need to roll down the windows. There's a guy on Facebook says he knows the trick to get this back body off. You know, I was just going to like cut right there and just smash and go. Uh, I have found someone to put the exoskeleton on this. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Clutch. You build roll cages all the time, multiple times a year. Aggressive roll cages that can take a huge fucking hit. Why don't you build the roll cage for this? And the answer is simple. There are road course racetracks all over the country that you can take your car to and do like a four to eight hour race against other cars that are off the street or track cars but in order for you to race at these tracks you have to have a regulation uh cage and by that i mean like i'm still going to have an exoskeleton but from my understanding what i've read into it uh you know your cage has to be made of tubing like round uh round tubing and like the radius of your bins has to be a certain diameter you just can't use you know like i'm an electrician we got conduit benders at work i could probably get a conduit bender and bend my own cage up but the radius is going to be tighter than what the regulation allows 
to race at these tracks. Will I ever race at these tracks? Who knows? I'd love to, but I don't want to start off in a position where I, I'm not allowed to. So we're going to do it right the first time, and we'll, uh, we'll get the exoskeleton on here. We'll get this thing going, and, you know, who knows where the road may take us. But I'm going to show you guys a little bit more. So this is where the driver's door bolted on. As you can see, there is steel. There's something metal behind that. Now, I personally, if if I was doing my roll cage, and I'm going to suggest it to the guy, I'm not going to tell him how to do his job, but, you know, we're going to do like a metal uh, bumper, something I can put uh, turn signals on, headlights. That is the metal frame. So we're going to have something like come off there and come this way, I believe, this is metal and goes down to the frame, but this right here, I believe, is fiberglass. Who knows? We'll figure it out. But I want to tie all that in and then possibly tie my cage in, like build a plate so that my cage can bolt to the factory door uh, mounts and, you know, continue it back. All of this is going to be gone. So, possibly, while he's doing the cage, I'm going to be calling around trying to figure out a fuel cell. And, you know, it's gonna, we're going to have to do a fuel cell mount. And that, that will be similar to how we do our derby cars with our fuel tank protectors. So, all this will be gone. Maybe we get like a 20-gallon, 20 25-30-gallon fuel tank. Probably be stainless put it right here behind us and uh yeah with it being carbureted we'll run an inline fuel pump and you know she'll be good to go now i'm out here in the shop just chugging along stripping this corvette and you guys might be wondering like what do i listen to you know in the shop while i'm working sometimes it's joe rogan you know sometimes it's country you know while I've been building this, I've been listening to the history of the United States. You know, sometimes I listen to the history of the other countries. And, you know, I'm a fucking nerd. I'll admit to it. But, you know, it's kind of interesting shit. And it's like, you know, in the future, you know, there's often times when someone asks a question and I know the answer and I don't know how I know the answer. And it's because I listen to stuff like this subconsciously while uh working on cars so you know give it a shot you guys listen to you know documentaries history shows i've listened to some of these uh deals where they teach you how to speak spanish hola me llamo clutch uh it's evening that'd be bu buenas noches you know that's hi my name's clutch good evening so yeah, I'm going to get back to this now. Okay, so last night we got the doghouse off. We got the front bumper off. We've thrown it out there in the pile. Guy's buying it from me. Now today, you know, somebody called me like the Wish, ver the wish version of Whistling Diesel. And I'll fucking take it. You know, that to me, that's a compliment. I'm a big fan of Whistling Diesel. You know, he's got more money than he knows what to do with, so he just constantly fucks shit up. I would love to have that problem. So I was going to come home from work today, take a saws off, and just, you know, play whack-a-mole with this thing. We're going to cut the fuck out of it. But last night as I was lying in bed, about to fall asleep, I had a guy message me and ask if he could buy... The back section of this car, the quarter panels. And I'm like, well, it's got an axe, an axe size hole in the passenger side, but you could probably fix it. And they're like, cool, let us know when you get it off. So now I got to figure out how to fuck to get this off. 
So I've been saying it since day one. You know, the whole thing is fiberglass. Uh, so it looks like that's a rivet. 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 I sound like a fucking frog. Rivet. Like, I'm gonna... Rivet. I have to go through here because, as you can see... Let's do a... This is all molded. Now, let's look at... Let's look underneath here. This. We might be able to take this piece out. But, like, all of this, like, this appears to be one big section. Uh, like, just look right here. Like, I do not see any, and that might be a seam. So, it might be this half and that half, but now I got to properly try to figure it out. So the first thing I'm going to do is get in here and take out the inner fender because it for sure has bolts. I'm going to do that on both sides. Then I'm going to try to get this back bumper off this tail light assembly and then we can get in there and really see what we're working with. Stay tuned. Y'all ain't gonna believe this. Remember how I said, like, you could put, like, a spare tire back there, but then, like, Corvette people probably have someone that comes and changes their tires? Check this out. That has got to be the coolest fucking tire thing I've ever, you know, I've been on my Silverado and you got to get underneath there and it fucking lowers it. But this has, has a ramp. Look at that. That's pretty sweet. Fancy. Okay, so far, to get the back bumper off, you gotta take the license plate off, stick your hand up in here to this tail light, take those bolts out, stick your hand in here, take these bolts out, do the same thing to that side. Okay, so we got the tail light assembly off. I had to stick my hand in each of the tail light holes and work all these bolts out all the way down through here. Fucking sucked. I guess they don't ever expect you to take that piece off. Now let's figure out how to how to get this off. Okay, so in the attempt to get the quarter panels off, just got the head the tail light assembly off. We've dropped the gas tank. We've dropped the rear subframe bumper shocks. Got Bentley out here just checking out the scene. Cut the exhaust, about to remove the spare tire cover. And she's starting to look like a giant go-kart. Okay, so guy wants to buy the rear quarter panels. I spent like three hours. Got the heat gun out. Drilling rivets. Using the heat gun. I gave up. I was getting to the point of frustration. I want to take a Sawzall to it because I'm... I, I don't have the attention span to do that. So I hit the guy up. I said, yo, if you want these, you got to come take them off. Because I ain't, I ain't fucking doing it. I can't. I'm ready to hack. So I moved. I moved on up to the dash. And it's no longer there. Took it out kind of like a derby car. I did have to take it out in a couple pieces. Just because, you know, I know where all the bolt holes are in a Crown Vic and a Chevy Caprice, but you know this, there was random ones all over, but it had this aluminum uh, dash bar. That's gonna end up going back in it because that ties this pillar to that pillar and then the steering attaches to it. So all that is critical. I just pulled it off now so that I could take all that 
insulation dampening bullshit uh, out from behind it. So while I was doing that, we went ahead and took the fan blower and all that shit off the engine. Started working on the AC lines. Uh, good news is it has a HEI distributor already. So we can swap out the intake, put a carved intake on it. Uh, while I was up here looking at this, I don't know if you guys can see this. Like, some of, I noticed one, that spark plug wire had a cut in it. Like, I got a feeling, like, it's not going to be all sunshines and rainbows just slapping a carb on here. I feel like we're going to have to, you know, troubleshoot a lot of shit. And that's, that's another reason that we are putting a carburetor on it. That way we don't have to worry about fuel injectors being bad or sensors not letting it start. We're going to fucking make it start. Uh, one thing I noticed about the, the factory headers on these they 100% look like you could flip them over and they'd be straight up. Now, Jason Sauer, buddy, I love you. He tells people if you want to run open headers, do it. I, I'm in Indiana and I will 100% get pulled over running open headers. Back in high school, we would cut the catalytic converter and the muffler off our cars and we would constantly be getting tickets. So then we'd have to go buy a tractor muffler just so we'd be legal. So, but she's coming apart, you know, finish getting all this cleaned up, get that dash bar back in, and then we will be swapping intakes. Now, I know there's a lot of people that's been pretty mad. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of people mad that I am hacking up a... Corvette, but you know, it wasn't pristine. Like, there's a hole in the fiberglass. There's a hole in the fiberglass. This fiberglass seam here has popped up. There's a hole there. All that is broken. Got some cuts there. Driver's side has a hole there. Like, yes, I do know how to patch fiberglass. We are going to patch it. And then I think I'm going to cut us a custom. Uh, like sheet metal floor just because with me and the wife sitting in here you know I'm I'm not going to take the chance of us hitting a pothole and the whole floorboard fall out so you know we are going to add some structural steel to this <clears throat> so you know it wasn't perfect you know even better reason to hack it up you know windshields Got a crack in it over there somewhere, so. And if you still don't like the fact that I'm cutting this up, go fuck yourself, you know? Buy you one and uh, build it how you want. <laughs>